What is going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fish and Grubs. Today, today we're going to go over nine different ways to rig the Gary Yamamoto Ica. Guys, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell. We're going to be dropping videos every single weekday. And uh, I do appreciate if you comment. So if you've used any of these rigs that we're going to be showing you today, I would love to hear it. Uh, tell me which one is your favorite, which ones you're looking forward to getting out and trying yourselves. So if you guys want to purchase any Gary Yamamoto baits or any of their hooks, uh, the rod that I've been using, any of that stuff, use the code GRUBS at baits.com. It'll be linked down below and you will save 20% off of everything on the website. The gear, shirts, hats, baits, rods, you name it, if it's on the website, you'll save 20%, go check it out. All right guys, this, this lovely little bait right here is extremely versatile, really, really cool, and can be rigged in a number of different ways. Now, we're gonna start out by telling you my favorite way to rig it, and uh, the way I've caught a couple fish on it, and then we're gonna go over a bunch of other different ways that you could rig this thing. I've got a couple different colors here. This is the green pumpkin with white and black. Then we have one of my personal favorite colors in all of Gary's baits, the black with blue flake. This is killer, killer at all times of the year in all different waters. My favorite way to rig this bait so far has been the Ned rig. You can go with many different types of Ned Rig hooks. These are the Z-Man, and it all depends on how fast you want this thing to drop as to what weight you're gonna use. And we have some bigger ones here. One fifth ounce Ned Rigs, and both will work. Both will work just fine. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that this thing's going on straight. First thing I like to do when I'm ringing up any soft plastic is to find out where I want that hook to come out. I want it to come out right there. So we're gonna take this hook, Pass it through, pass it through the top, bring it out right there where we wanted it. Slide it all the way down, and boom. That is a killer Ned Rig style bait. That's gonna stand right up. Hop this thing around. You can even swim it if you'd like. That is my number one way to rig the Gary Yamamoto 4.5 inch Ica. Another very similar way to rig this bait would be on a small jig. This is the Strike King Bitsy Bug. It's gonna fit perfect on this. We even got a couple different colors. This one here has the black and blue mixed in, so we'll pair it with this one. Whereas this one here has more natural colors, pair it with this one. I'm gonna rig this up the same way we did the last one. Find out where we want that hook to come through, right about there. Feed it through, pop it out, right where we wanted it. it up on the hook keeper and you got yourself a killer jig skirt up top that looks sick fish will not be able to resist so again very similar they're gonna sit differently on the bottom Ned rig standing up this one slanted off to the side a little bit they are both killer killer ways to fish this bait. Next thing we're gonna talk about is fishing this Texas rig style. There's three different ways you can do this, probably more. But we're gonna go over three different ways to fish this thing Texas rig. So we got 2-0 wide gap BMC hooks. I'm gonna quickly tie a Palmer knot on here as we do on everything. Now, I'm gonna show you something I found online. This is the first way I saw somebody rig it. 
And uh, truthfully, I don't know if I would rig it this way, but that's what these guys did, and so it must work. But instead of coming in, instead of coming in through the top, they came in through the back, fed it this way, through, up like that. And like that, but the bait is coming up this way. And on the bottom, it's, it's popping this way. So it's basically hooked Texas rig, but backwards, in my opinion, backwards. I would not rig it this way. But from what this kid was saying, he hammers them on this. Now, if you guys didn't notice, the Ica is basically a tube bait. It's a tube that's not hollow on the inside. You know, you can do pretty much all things you would do with a tube with this. But this is like a tube hooked backwards. Just like that. How I would do it would be the opposite. I'm going to hook it up just like I would Texas Rig Sanko. Down through the top. In. Hide the tip of the hook. Find where I want to go through. Come through. Just like so. And then make it weedless. Just like that. Just like I would a Texas rig Sanko. And that's going to be just like that. So you're going to be dragging along the bottom, like so, and this is the back end. One more thing you can do to this, so the third way to rig it, take a bullet weight, tungsten, the 316 ounce, so if you want to get down to the bottom a lot quicker, you're going to put that bullet weight on before you put the hook on then tie the hook on. But because we don't have this attached to a rod, you can do it that way. And that is how it's going to look. Pegged with a bullet weight. Now, a lot of the times when I use a bullet weight, I want part of the hook still sticking out. So I'd rig it a tiny bit differently. Coming out way shorter there so that just a bit of that hook is still sticking out at the top. When I'm doing it uh, weightless, I don't want that. I want that whole hook gone. Now, if you do not peg the bullet weight, now a lot of people peg this bullet weight and they keep it snug right there. And you can do that. You can get the little bobber stoppers and put it right in front of the bullet weight. That way it's always right there, right where you wanted it. But if you leave it unpegged, when these two things meet, they make a noise. So on the bottom, they keep hitting each other. It's going to draw the attention in. And I learned that from my good friend Kyle Frank. He does that with the flapping hog. He leaves a little bit of that hook exposed right there so when the bullet weight hits it, it makes a little clack and that's that that's five ways so far to rig this baby up number six drop shot baby drop shot all day long with this bait now these pmc spin shots are fan freaking tastic with these, you don't have to do all the fancy knot tying to get your drop shot to sit exactly where you want. With these, you just tie two polymer knots, and this thing's going to sit perfectly at all times. And there's a swivel built in, so you won't notice any line twist. That's huge. That is huge. So, what I'm going to do, always tie, always tie your polymer knot on the bottom o-ring first. Then tie the entire setup to your main line. Trust me on that. All right, got our drop shot weight, our drop shot hook. 
These weights are perfect for rock. And if you're gonna do like a sandy bottom, you want the ones that are more like circular. Those are the best drop shot weights for sand. These are the best for rocky areas. That's where I'm gonna fish the drop shot most of the time. Hook to weight, just like that. I'm gonna take our Ica and basically just nose hook this thing, just like you would any other drop shot bait. We're gonna come right in here and nose hook it, just like so. And that thing's gonna stand right up in the water, just like that. These things flowing all over the place. Killer drop shot bait. The seventh, eighth, and ninth way to do it is all gonna require a wacky rig tool. You're gonna take your eye cup, put it in the wacky rig tool, move that O-ring right up on there. So you're directly in the middle. Just like so. First one we're gonna talk about is the old Nico rig. Now you can use these Nico hooks, these are size 2, these are going to be perfect for what you want to do. I'm going to take one of these nails and make them four Nico rigs, jam that sucker right in there, that way this stands up just like that on the bottom. Now you're more than welcome to use a wacky rig hook. I've actually never used a Nico hook, but I just bought some. So we're gonna be trying them out. The Nico hook, you're gonna wanna put it this way on the rubber band. Just like that. That way, it's on the bottom, the hook point is up on the top. Just like so. Nail in the bottom, O-ring, hook. Number seven. Number eight, you don't put the weight in. Get your wacky rig hook, use the 1-0. I love VMC stuff. One of my favorite things about VMC is that they resin close the eyes that the eyes in this hook don't have a space for the line to come out. Because the other day I set the hook on fish and you guys saw what happened. Uh, the hook was gone and the knot was still there. So it came out through that little tiny little gap in the hook eye. So I am now strictly using these VMC hooks for the most part. Doesn't matter which way you hook it this time because there's no weight in the bottom. So that bad boy right through there. You got yourself a killer wacky rig bait. Killer. Smaller profile. You might even want to move this o-ring down a little bit. Let me do it. So it's more in the middle. Like so. That's gonna be a killer weightless wacky rig. And now, the final way, but probably not final way, you probably find other ways to rig this damn thing. It is extremely versatile. The final way we have to rig this insanely versatile bait is with a weighted wacky. So you get your weighted wacky rig hook, and you can do the exact same freaking thing. I'll move that up a little bit more towards the middle of the back of there. Since this is probably gonna sit like that on the bottom, I'm gonna come up this way through the O-ring, just like so. And now that is a weighted rack, wacky rig. You're gonna use this in deeper waters to get it down a lot quicker, and the action's gonna be different. That's it. Weighted wacky rig, regular wacky rig, Nico rig, Rob Shot, Texas Rig, three different ways, Ned Rig, and a jig. And that, my friends, is nine different ways you can rig.
the Gary Yamamoto Icus. Super versatile. Go out there, catch some fish on it. Guys, if you learned a little something today, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell as well. We're gonna be dropping videos every single weekday and leave some comments for me. I appreciate all the comments. I try to reply to all of them. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fishing Grubs. Bitch on. Don't finna jump for the shit. I'll tap when I speak. I'll cap with the speech to the cut up in the rapture. I'm so out of line with the phrase game. Let's take a break. Been a long day. Hit your line with your fog through with the light sticks. Maybe help me spark the ideas. We got nowhere else to go. It's only up from there. I've been on my own. Just running through the fields. Say, vivid for the ears. I know that's how they like.